Hey guys, it's Willem D. Ritter with Compass. I wanna give you an update as we enter into the fourth quarter of 2019 and into the fall housing season. Still a lot to be optimistic about. Things are looking good. Interest rates are still really low and the economy is still fairly strong. How there have been some indicators that that could change here, but so far so good. So let's look into the numbers. So the total amount of homes sold, total meaning detached and attached condos and townhomes, is down 5.5% from last year. So less homes sold so far this year compared to this time last year. The median sales price of detached homes is up 1.7% to 645,000. Again, that's the median, and we talked about this before, but median is a better indicator of overall kind of value of where the majority of homes selling. The average is actually quite a bit higher, uh, but that's the median. And for attached condos and townhomes, we're up 1.5% to 423,000. So as you can see, that's not a huge rate of appreciation, but that's okay, that's a good thing. Anywhere between that one to three, 4%, that's a good healthy market. So we really like to see that five, six, 10% appreciation year over year is too much. It's unsustainable, it's not healthy. So right now we're in a really good spot. Days on market. So days on market before accepting an offer is up 17% to 33 days. Historically, that's not a long time. 33 days from the time you list a property to the time you accept an offer, that's not a long time. It's closer to 60 in kind of a more average market, but we're up from a previous, you know, four or five years of strictly a seller's market. We're beginning to see more of an even playing field now. So the months of supply here, months of supply is down 25% to 2.3 months. That's for condos and townhomes alike. We're at 2.3 months worth of housing supply. Again, if not one more home were listed from today going forward, all the homes in San Diego County will be sold in about 2.3 months. And in an average market, or truly average market, we really like to see closer to four months worth of housing supply. So historically speaking, we're still in the lower end of what's available out there for homes. So as I've outlined above, the housing market is still in a good, strong place with low interest rates and strong buyer demand. But you may be asking yourself, Willem, I've heard about a recession, the stock market volatility. You know, what about that? What if I wanna buy a house? Is it a good time? And you're right to worry about the healthy economy with a fluctuating stock market, the trade war with China, and of course the impending elections we have coming up next year. So at some point in the not too distant future, there's a good chance we do enter into recession or an economic slowdown. That could be 2020 coming up here next year or it could be the following year in 2021. We've been expecting a recession to happen over the last three or four years and it hasn't happened yet. However, if we do go into a recession, I don't see the housing market taking a significant pullback or prices dropping a lot. Last time in 2008 during our last recession, that was caused from bad lending practices and ballooning interest rates and the homeowners had very little or negative equity. That's what caused the previous recession. Now, 50% of all US homeowners have over 50% equity in their homes. That's a huge security blanket for a real significant pullback in the housing market. That's kind of a good little barrier for us. There is so much equity in the US homeowner right now that I'm not overly concerned with a big pullback in prices. If we go into recession, will home values come back a little bit? Yeah, of course, but it's not gonna be anything significant. If you're thinking about buying or selling, let's talk and discuss what these economic factors will mean and how we can best accomplish your goals. And if you need anything else, please feel free to reach out. I'm here to serve you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.